grow, and from time to time, the animals in the park need to move house. In Animal Adventure, it's Action Stations. Yeah, it's just to let you guys know we are on our way to the um, Wallabies. Georgia and the team are about to welcome new residents into their section. Just packed up the car with um, some boxes and we're actually off to go and collect the wallabies up at Safari. They're moving to a new enclosure today um, down in our area. After more than 10 years in Wallaby Wood, the 20 residents are moving to Pastures New to live alongside six new wallabies who recently arrived at the park. They are extremely skittish. Whoa. Tina knows how difficult rounding up these animal athletes will be. Humans have a 190 degree field of vision, but wallabies can see through 320 degrees. They can see you coming, but their hearing is extremely effective, and especially up in the wallaby wood where we're doing all the catching, we've got a lot of sticks, a lot of beach stuff on the floor, so it's very hard to keep up on the back of a wallaby without making some sort of noise. Tina believes her best chance is to work alone and coax them into the enclosed space of their house. Hi, lovelies. Well, seven, seven. Got five in the house, so it's a start. The next stage is to box them up. Hoofstock team manager Ryan arrives to brief the team. It's not particularly easy to catch a wallaby if it doesn't want to be caught. <laughs> I can't guarantee that it's um, that it is going to be plain sailing. Um, I know we have a fair few team members that have caught wallabies before, but there's also a few that haven't. With uh, five in the house, mm -hmm. Tina will be our team member who's going to go into the far side on her own to catch them one at a time. We may have to box them just outside the door. Yeah. If you keep the base of the tail straight in there, you should be absolutely fine. Okay, you ready for the first one? Got away. You have to be quite bold, I think, in the way that you catch a wallaby. Even though they're not particularly big animals, they're very powerful. That's it, just keep on your face the Wallabies can jump a metre and a half into the air, propelled by powerful hind legs. And each foot has four sharp claws. Don't worry, all this tail pulling is not painful for the wallaby. Their tails are extremely muscular. It's a bit like scruffing a cat. Whatever you do, you don't want the wallaby to spin round and be able to use you as a springboard with its back legs. Because that can really hurt. That's happened to me before. Um, I learned the hard way. <laughs> That's something you don't want to do. Wallaby Wood is home to one notably enormous individual. Oh, look at that. One in particular, Blue 100, that's Hulk. Ooh, steady, steady. Steady, steady. He's a big lad, he really is. Steady, steady. Steady, steady. I think he's going to blow the Animal Adventure team away because he's all sort of shoulders and, and muscles. Ooh, steady, steady. Steady, steady. <laughs> After an hour, the first batch of five wallabies are ready to go, leaving the keepers exhausted. <laughs> you know when you have those um, gym things that you have to squeeze to strengthen your hands, and then they feel wibbly wobbly? So my hands feel like holding onto that wallaby's tail. In their new enclosure, the wallabies will be living alongside different species for the first time. Here we have sheep, donkeys, goats, chickens, turkeys, uh, also the emu. They like to run around, so they're having a whale of a time running up and down the race uh, trying to spot the new uh, wallabies within the field. As the first group settle in, the team regroup and try plan B. We're going to put one box at a time in front so it creates a barrier. Switching their capture technique, they make good progress. That worked a lot better. 
We know that they like moving in groups. We know that they're food orientated. They know that we know that they like to do things in their own time. But that's the thing. That's about knowing your animals and working with them. And persistence and patience is the key. You have to have a lot of it. Um, you know, it does get frustrating when they're just sort of outside the house and you just need to hop them in one direction and then decide no, it's not happening. Project Wallaby has now been going for three days. Sixteen have been successfully rehomed. Just four particularly stubborn wallabies remain. I feel like I'm getting outsmarted at the moment. Yeah, guys, just to let you know, I just tried to do a first wallaby catch this morning. Fortunately, it wasn't that successful, so I'm just going to back off and give them some time. Yesterday, you know, we had the element of surprise of what we were doing, uh, but unfortunately, you know, they will have been watching what's going on. They'll be hearing the, there's a lot of people over there that they're not used to. Wallabies are likely to get stressed when separated from the group. If Tina can't get these in the house, she's going to need a plan C. Yeah, I'm just going to 